What is going on you guys? My name is Takeshi Tor. I am back with another Drag Mall video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be addressing who will be the next God of Destruction for Universe 7 or possibly another universe out there. And I think the biggest question is specifically is who will it be for another universe or upcoming Dragon Ball uh, God Destruction. And I believe it's either going to be Vegeta or Goku because I just don't see Piccolo or Gohan or anyone else. Trunks, nah, I don't, I don't really see him becoming a God of Destruction. It's mostly Goku and Vegeta that's in the talks as far as who the next God of Destruction is going to be. And it's just going to be really interesting to see who the next God of Destruction is, especially if we get the anime back. And as the anime goes on and on, we're going to see how Goku and Vegeta as they're going their own pathways develop and we're going to discuss this in the two parts so part one we're going to talk about why i think beerus his job is on the line and i think he's going to be replaced at some point during the series and part two i'm going to be addressing why vegeta is the overall better fit to be a god destruction rather than goku with that being said guys if you guys are new go ahead subscribe if you like it, this video go ahead and give it a like already click on all notifications so you guys don't miss a beat now that being said let's go ahead and get into part one Alright guys, so for part one, I'm going to be addressing why Beerus will be replaced, and I think his job is on the line, guys. I really do believe it. We see Goku and Vegeta, they're only getting stronger, and by the looks of it, with the movie coming out, I mean, I just don't see where Beerus can even keep his job at this point. I mean, Goku and Vegeta are getting so strong, and we see in the anime where Goku and Vegeta were actually kind of offered a chance to become a god destruction. And Whis actually kind of mentioned to Goku that if you're going to train with me, are you interested in actually becoming a god destruction or possibly replacing Lord Beerus? And Goku didn't really seem to have an interest in it. And as we saw earlier in the anime in Dragon Ball Super, we saw Vegeta pretty much beg Whis to say, hey, I want to train with you, please teach me. And we said, I'll do it, but you have to promise me that one day you have to be God Destruction. And Vegeta didn't really seem interested in it either. And I get it too, because he's married and he obviously has kids. And I respect that for thinking that. But on the flip side, Vegeta had a little bit more interest, whereas Goku didn't really have any interest whatsoever. But with that being said, towards the end of Dragon Ball Super, we clearly saw that Judah was only getting stronger, and he actually was able to beat uh, Topo and the God, uh, who had the power of a God Destruction. They faced in the Tournament of Power, and Vegeta pretty much manhandled him and was able to beat him fair and square. And on the flip side, you see Goku, where he's able to master Ultra Instinct and have the ability to move without thinking, and a lot of God Destructions haven't even mastered it, not even Beerus has done it, and Whis has said this in the anime. Now, obviously, we know the Angels and Grand P Priests have the ability to have Ultra Instinct, and they can move without thinking, and this is a big advantage, especially for Goku, considering the fact he's immortal, and he's not a higher God or an Angel. S despite this, we clearly see that in the beginning, Goku wasn't as strong as Beerus, even with the new transformation called Super Saiyan God, he still wasn't able to even do it, but Beerus clearly saw that there was potential for Goku. Uh, just because he was immortal, it doesn't mean that he didn't have potential, and Beerus saw this, and even as they were fighting, guys, we, we clearly saw that Beerus was almost training him in a way, whereas Vegeta was just kind of sitting back and observing, like, okay, whatever, Goku does his thing, I never get any uh, spotlight, and that's just how it goes, but we clearly saw as the anime went on and on, Goku is getting stronger, but we see that Vegeta is really getting strong too. Like, I mean, he's really catching up to Goku at this point. And with the new transformation that he got at the uh, Tournament of Power, he was able to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, which was able to be Topo, who had the power of a God Destruction. And we also could see Topo be God Destruction of another universe, but as far as Vegeta, I just think that Vegeta is going to replace Beerus, or Goku could too. We don't, we don't really know. I mean, Goku could decide, hey, I'm going to change my mind. I'm, I'm going to be God Destruction. I mean, let's be honest, guys. I mean, it's not like Goku spends time with his family and friends anyway. He never did anyway. I mean, geez, the guy leaves, if, you know, if his wife is there. I mean, he doesn't care. He just wants to get stronger. But I just go by personality, too. And that's what we're going to talk about for part two. So for part two, we're going to go ahead and dive into why I personally believe, in my opinion, Vegeta is the better overall fit for a God Destruction for Universe 7. All right, guys. So for part two... I'm going to be addressing why I personally think, in my personal opinion, why Vegeta is actually the better fit and would actually be a better role as a God of Destruction for Universe 7 or possibly a different universe out there, especially the universes 
that were erased because there were 18 at the time and uh, Zeno actually got rid of six of them and there was 12 universes now but obviously there's a lot of theories out there and I actually believe at the end of Tournament of Power when Android 17 wished all uh, the universes back I believe those other six were included so we actually could see Vegeta possibly being a god of destruction in another universe or replacing Lord Beerus. In my opinion, if he's actually going to be a god of destruction, he's going to replace Lord Beerus. And I just think he is because we clearly see that Vegeta needs to have his own path to power. And I really like that because, and I think he needs to because for the longest time it was always, oh, Vegeta's always behind Goku and Goku's always one step ahead of Vegeta and Vegeta's always going to be the second guy. Where I think now, Vegeta doesn't even want to answer instinct. I, I just think he sees, okay, I'm never going to be stronger than Goku. Because Goku is obviously the main character, of course. But I think Vegeta sees that he needs to have his own path to power. And we also obviously saw this in the manga in the previous chapter. Where we saw that Beerus suggests that Vegeta learn, learns like God Destruction abilities. If he wants to become the God Destruction. And Vegeta needs to destroy and stray from any thoughts or recreate himself from scratch as a god of destruction. And we clearly see in the anime, if you haven't seen it, where Vegeta is actually fighting Lord Beerus and he uses Super Saiyan Blue and he's actually giving Lord Beerus actually somewhat of a fight. And Beerus actually gets serious and as a result, the fight ended. And by the way guys, this was in chapter 68. I know that's going back a little bit, but I just had to reference that as we actually saw Vegeta actually fight Lord Beerus. And Beerus was like, yeah, it's going to take you forever to actually get on my level. And we clearly see in the manga that Vegeta is nowhere near Beerus's level. And by the way, guys, we haven't even seen Beerus go 100% and actually show his true power. But we may see it one day if we get a rematch from Goku. But I just think as far as personality and the way Vegeta thinks, he would just be a better god of destruction. I mean, if we told him, hey, you got to destroy this planet or this particular person, Vegeta would have no problem with it. I don't think he would get upset about it. Whereas Goku would second think it and he wouldn't want to do it because Goku's just a nice guy. He doesn't have that mentality to kill. Whereas Vegeta, I think he would be able to do it and actually get over that feeling. And Beerus mentioned that to him saying, hey, you have to use your thoughts and emotions aside and focus on being the God of Destruction if you want to become one. And we can also say for sure that Goku with Master Ultra Instinct could possibly be Beerus. But Vegeta is probably almost on the same level as Beerus, but not enough to where if Beerus was 100%, he would pretty much destroy Vegeta and possibly Goku. Even though I do think Goku is stronger than Beerus at the moment, I think Vegeta at some point will be stronger than Beerus. And I do believe, and, and this is just me, I think if the anime comes back and towards the end we get like a really good ending, I think a really good ending is where Vegeta actually replaces Lord Beerus or actually becomes a god of destruction in another universe. I just think it would be so cool to have a Saiyan uh, God Destruction and Goku is able to master Ultra Instinct and maybe actually someone becomes of a Guardian or possibly an Angel maybe. And who knows, maybe him and, and, and Vegeta can actually work together. But with that being said guys, it's going to be a long time before we find out if Vegeta becomes a God Destruction. And that's why I believe Vegeta would be an overall better fit as far as becoming a possible God Destruction. With that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button. Make sure you have all notifications on so you guys don't miss a beat. And also, guys, I wanted to mention this too. If you guys didn't see or if you don't follow my Instagram page, I did post something where I asked everyone if they would enjoy me doing video game content. And I specifically asked, would you guys want me to do Dragon Ball video games since my content is mostly Dragon Ball? And I also add the option of doing Dragon Ball video games and also horror games. And the majority of everyone wanted me to do Dragon Ball video games and horror games too. So starting next week, you guys will see some more video game content coming in also in the future. I'm also still going to do Dragon Ball content. I'm just going to do Dragon Ball content plus Dragon Ball Z video games and horror games. So I really hope you guys are excited for that because I know I am. It's going to be a lot of fun. But that being said... My name is Takeshi Tor, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.